everyone, I'm Sean Cheek. Uh, the website I'm working on is uh, coming along. We haven't done anything, just uh, kind of planning it, what's going to be on it. And I hope you have it up by the end of the year. Um, <clears throat> and as always, for all your part twos and threes that aren't on YouTube already, you can email me at easypianolessons at yahoo.com to get those. Uh, they are only available through email. Okay, this is Dust in the Wind. Okay, let's start. <clears throat> what we have is a pattern that occurs over and over again. So let me show you the pattern, and you need to be able to do the pattern on the first chord before you even try any of the rest of the song. So let's look at the pattern here. We have a uh, C and an E on the left hand, so here's middle C. Here's a C below that, <clears throat> and an E above that with it. Okay, so C, E there. And then the right hand is going to have G below middle C, and then middle C above that. And I wrote it in green for a reason. Uh, but anyway, here's the first chord. Here's the first pattern. We're going to do the same pattern. Um, oh, I didn't do that right. Hold on. Okay. First, we're going to play the top note and the bottom note together. Okay, you're always going to do that. So the top note in the right hand, the bottom note in the left. And then, we're going to do the two middle notes up. E, G. Left, right. So let's review here. Top and bottom note together. And then the E, G. Bum, bum, left, right. And then after that, we're going to play the bass note again, the left hand C by itself. And then we're going to play that note in green again, the C. And then the last thing we do is the two middle notes again, E, G. And that makes. Okay, so the outer two, then the middle two, and then just the bass note, and then just the top note in green and then the, the two middle ones again. I've got this in green because we're going to use that note each time even though the chord underneath is going to stay the same uh, the green notes are going to change on top and they're kind of the melody notes if you listen to it the part I was singing are these green notes here so you need to hit those a little harder okay so a little bit extra pressure on the green notes now, the second box here is the same thing. I'm not going to change these black notes. I'm still going to use C, E, G for the three bottom notes. But the top note is going to change from a C to a B. Do the same pattern. The outside two, and then the middle E, G, and then just the bass note, and then just the green note, and then the middle two again. Holding the pedal down for each measure. It's going to sound really dry if you don't do that. Hold the pedal down. Then we go to the next measure, change the uh, melody note to a D, go back to a C. Alright, now the chord's going to change here to an A minor chord. Here was a C chord, here's an A minor. <clears throat> now we're going to have a low A in the left hand, so here's middle C, here's the next C, here's the A that we want, and then an E above that. Okay, and then the right hand's going to have an A right below middle C, and then the melody note is now a B. So do the pattern, the outside two, and the middle two, then just the bass note, and then just the top note, and then the middle two again. So, and then we do this measure, and then we change the melody note to a D, and do the same pattern, uh, continuing with this A chord. Uh, and then we go to a C in green there, and continue with the same chord. And then last, uh, we have a B uh, as the melody note, continuing with the A minor. Okay, so this whole first line here goes first box, now B, same chord, then we go to a D, then to a C, same chord, change chords, go to an A minor, and then we have a B on the top, and then the same chord with a D on top, and then the same chord with a C on top, and then the same chord with a B on top. Now what we do is we're going to do this all again. But the second time through, I want you to use these green notes instead of these. So the same chord, the C chord, but let's do a D instead of the C there. So you can just forget about these green notes and do these instead. So we do a D here, and then a C for this box, and then a B, and then a D. Then we change the chord here, go to 
an A minor, all the black notes are the same, but the green one here is going to be the C, and then a B, and then a D. And then we have a, then we'll, uh, then we'll come to where the singing starts. I close my So if you want the rest of that, email me at easypianolessons at yahoo.com. Hope you enjoy it.